Hey, it's Jeremy here, and in this tutorial, I want to be showing you how to create an Instagram carousel in Adobe XD. So the first thing we want to do is go up the top, and you can see you've got all these pre-made sizes, but what we want to do is click on custom size. And once you do that, it should open a new file where we can create our own artboard size that we want perfectly for Instagram. So I'm gonna to go to the left-hand side, you'll see the toolbars, and I'm gonna click on the little artboard tool here. I'm gonna click and drag a little box. And then if I go to my right-hand side, you can see the width and the height. And what we want to do is we want to make it 1080 by 1080. Obviously, if you want your Instagram carousel to be a little bit taller, you can make the height 1350 if you want. Let me just test it out. So it'll be a bit longer, but I tend to just work in 1080 by 1080. It's just a simple box. So once you have your artboard, what we want to do is we want to first boot out an artboard, then copy and paste it across. So then we don't have to constantly, um, you know, move things around. So it'll just be a lot easier. So the first artboard, we can double click and rename it slide one. All you have to do is click on the artboard name up the top there. And what I can do is click the square box over here and I'm just gonna drag a box over this. And I'm just gonna change the color to like a black color. Obviously you can use your brand colors as a background or whatever color you want to, but I'm gonna make it black. So cool. So we've got this artboard. If I click on the artboard, it shows me all the um, assets that are inside. So I've got this rectangle in there and I can also see my artboards. If I click out of it, um, in the gray area, then it will just show the artboard there. But if I click on it, it will show me everything inside of it. So once I click inside, I'm gonna press T for the type tool. It's also located on the left. I can click and drag a box. And what I can do is start typing. So let me do that again. Click and drag a box. I'll start typing out. Then what I want to do is make the text bigger. So all the editing um, functions are on the right hand side. So in the text section, you can see I can select a font. So I'll select the font then type in uniform. That's the font I use. Press enter. I'll make the size probably about like 150 or something. So you can see the size there. I'll change the weight to a black weight, which is really cool. I can also go extra condensed, probably go condensed black. Yeah, that's looking good. And I'm going to go down to the color, scroll down and make it white. As you can see there. Cool. So we've got our basic text ready. So now I can put like um, place headline in this area. So just to see an example of how it will look, I can maybe bump up the size. I can also adjust the letter spacing as well. So you can see here, if I click and drag this little icon here next to um, the middle section, you'll see like it's little two arrows with like three lines. If I click and drag that, it's gonna edit the leading, which is the space between the lines. So I'm gonna turn it up and I'll make it a bit tighter. And once again, I can probably increase the size as well. Just bump that up like this. So you can also bump up the tracking or, or the kerning. So you can see here, if I click and drag that, it's gonna increase the size. Obviously don't go too crazy, just keep it nice and readable and legible. So cool, we have this um, element. And then now what I can do, I'm just gonna move the text area or the text box. You can see you can edit that to show or hide how much of the text will be shown there. I'm gonna press T again, and I'm just gonna do a little tag here. So I'm gonna make this small, the size probably really small. And also put the spacing on zero or 35. Um, I'm gonna put jeremymira.com and at the Jeremy Mura. So just put like a little tag there and I will also change that to a medium. And I'll change the size once again to a reasonable cool size. And I might bump the tracking as well. So that'd be not too much. 34, that looks cool. And maybe the letting a little bit like that. And this should be aligned with this text. Let's bump it to the left a little bit and I'll just put that down. You can use the arrow keys and hold shift to move things around as you can see there. And yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. That's looking good. That's looking really clean, really nice. And obviously now I can start to add images and maybe this one will be like our basic um, layout. So what I'm going to do now is you can click on the artboard tool or just click on the um, the text on the top left, um, 
on the top of corner, left corner. If you click that, it will select the artboard. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Shift and Alt. If you're on a Mac, it will be Command and Option. So, and then I'm going to click and drag, holding my mouse and drag it across like this. And what I want to do, it should automatically snap right next to it. So you can see the blue lines, the guides are snapping. So now, that was an accident. So now you can see these two are connected in some way. Obviously, it's not like Illustrator where um, the artboards are, are read like all the same and you can do an image. So for example, if I have an uh, image here, You can see I have an image like this. And if I drag it over these two slides, it's only going to show within one of the artboards, right? So this is on artboard one, right? But if I, the, the only way to pretty much make it go across two slides is I'll place the shape here like this. And then I'll select the image, press control C, and then left click on the artboard, the second artboard and press control V. And then what I have to do is just drag it like this across and snap it to where it was. So now when I click off, it overlaps like this. I'm not sure if you can paste in front um, in, in XD. So that's why I just pasted it and just moved it. But typically, like most Adobe programs, you can paste it on in front, which will mean it will just paste it on top exactly like where it was. Um, so if I find out what it is, then I'll add it in the... Um, comments or something like that. So that's how you pretty much overlap that and then obviously I can move my text and move it around or whatever So that's cool. So that's just a quick example. I'll just delete those and what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna quickly do the same I'm gonna hold shift copy So I get all these I want 10 layouts And once you do it once you can save a template um, I don't know what happened Okay that was weird. I don't know why After Effects opened for a second there. So I'm just going to keep doing this like that. So now I've got 10 apples, 10 slides, all with my basic text layout and my little tag there. So now what I can go ahead and do, I can, you know, click on a certain box. I can change the color if I want. Um, you know. I can double click copy the hex code and I can paste it and like do all sorts of, of stuff, right? I can add images, I can play around the text. So it's for beginners. That's like one of my ideas. And I can just build out and like type it, I can double click and just edit the text and build out um, that carousel and I can add images. And obviously if I want to add my own images, so Maybe I want to add a brand image. I can drag and drop it into here. And you can see wherever you land it, it's going to be on that artboard. So then I can just scale it down. I can hold shift and drag the box and scale that down. And I can place it wherever I want. And obviously if I drag it across, it will pretty much transfer it to the other artboard, which is a kind of handy tool. And I can just drag it like that, looking fresh, man. And cool. And then obviously I can say, um, comment your thoughts. Or maybe your ideas or something. And then I can put like an arrow. So um, obviously the shapes in, in XD. So on the left hand side, you got these shapes, circle and square and triangle. So I could like literally drop a square like this. Then I can get a triangle, hold shift, and then I can rotate it. So put my mouse on the corner there, shift, rotate this. If I hold alt or option, you can see if I drag like this, it will make it thinner. And I might scale this down a little bit. But obviously you can get shapes from Illustrator or online and just use that. Um, I want to make sure there's no stroke. So I'll turn off the border. A border is like a stroke. I just want the fill. And if you want to group items together, you can select, hold shift, select these two objects. And then I can press control G or command G. And on my left hand side, you can see like in my layers, 
um, on my slide panel on the left here, you can see there's a group now. So I can call this arrow, which is really cool. I can lock that group. Um, I can hide it. I can do all sorts of things with the little um, icons on the top there. So I have the arrow. I can change the fill color. And because it's in a group, it's going to change everything inside the group. So maybe I want it to be like a yellow. And there I have an arrow. And then I can, you know, copy and paste on other artboards and like do whatever I want. And I can like make it bigger or like, whoa. Make it bigger and do all sorts of cool stuff like that. So pretty much that's how you make a layout or a carousel in um, Adobe XD. Obviously, I'm not going to build out a whole one, but that's the main um, way how you do it. And then to export it, what you do, you go to the top left, click on the hamburger menu, click export and click all artboards. And then we want to click on design. So it should um, save at a scale of just one. Um, that's fine. You can also click on web as well. So if I just click for web and you can leave it one one X, I'll um, I want to make a fold on my desktop. Adobe. I'll just type an XD carousel like that. And I'll save club click select folder and click export all our boards. And then we're just going to go to the desktop now and open that up. If I double click. And it saved <laughs> because I clicked web, it saved two extras, one at a double size for some reason. Um, but if I click it, you can see I can go through that. And there you go, there's your um, art boards. Really cool and super awesome. So that's how you guys, that's how you do it, guys. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you want other tutorials in Adobe XD, let me know and I'm happy to create some more stuff. Have an awesome day. Subscribe for more design content every week. And I hope you have an awesome week and talk to you soon.